Good morning. Again, 10th graders, uh, Mr. Jensen here, um, giving you a quick update about the testing week of April 12th, because I'm in charge of all that, um, if you didn't know that. Um, it's a fun job. You guys should check it out someday. Um, good luck getting me to give that job up, because it's a good one. Um, so on the week of April 12th, uh, we are going to have uh, some testing this week. I want you guys to kind of see that schedule. Keep in mind, remember that the week before that is April 5th, and that's the day that we're coming, we get, uh, we're coming back four days a week instead of two days a week if you're an in-person student. Uh, the week before that is spring break. So this is uh, going to be coming pretty quickly. Um, so on the 12th, uh, Monday, that's going to be a regular day. So if you're scheduled to be in person, you'll come to school just right like normal. Um, if you are at home, you will continue to do a regular day of at home learning. There will be some live Zoom classes and things on that day. But uh, the following day, Tuesday, the only students that we're um, asking to come in or allowing, I should say, to come into the building are going to be those 11th graders who are taking that SAT test. So for you all as 10th graders, uh, you will not be able to come into the building on that Tuesday. Instead, you will be having asynchronous classes um, on that Tuesday. So there won't be any live Zoom, uh, but just make sure that you're logging in and asking and finding out from your teachers uh, what to expect. I'm sure that many of them will probably be explaining your, the expectations for the rest of the week um, on that Monday, on the 12th, uh, so that you guys are clear about what you need to do for the rest of the week. Um, then the one and only day that you will be testing this year um, is going to be on Wednesday, April 14th. So that's the day that we're going to ask for all 10th graders to come into the building. Um, that are scheduled to test and uh, that will start around eight o'clock and then it'll wrap up around 12 30 one o'clock uh, maybe a little bit later for some of you that have accommodated testing um, so please plan accordingly to that and more information about what time uh, that day will wrap up but you won't be expected to be here all day uh, once testing is over for you you'll be able to leave um, and then the Thursday and Friday of that week are also asynchronous because uh, we have ninth graders testing on Thursday, 11th graders again testing on uh, for CMAS on Friday. Um, and so for you guys, you'll have asynchronous uh, lessons and work to do on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday of that week. So the only days we want you to come in or need you to come in or ask, allowing you to come in are Monday and Wednesday. Um, if you are an in-person student or a hybrid student, just remember uh, you are going to automatically be scheduled to come in to take that test on that Wednesday. Um, so if you're, you and your family are choosing to opt out of that, I do need to get that in writing. I've only gotten a couple requests to opt out um, during that time. It's really important that we get those ahead of time so that we know how many people are going to be in the building um, and we can schedule accordingly. Um, and just a reminder again that that week before, we're coming back for uh, four days uh, that week before. And so you, during that week, you'll be able to see what your room assignments are. So you'll know exactly where to go. On that day of, oh, sorry, um, remote students. Um, if unlike the in-person who are automatically scheduled, remote students are automatically not scheduled. Um, but if you would like to be added, to the testing schedule and would like to take the PSAT 10. Um, that could be really good practice for the SAT next year. Um, please make sure you reach out to me so that I can make sure that I am prepared to have you guys there and have a test ready for you and a room assigned to you. Uh, so please reach out to me so that um, I know that you're going to be testing um, with the rest of the 10th graders. And we will put you, all this remote students will sort of be in a, a separate area of the school uh, for safety and uh, COVID related uh, precautions. Um, the day of testing uh, for you all, Wednesday, April 14th, uh, please come in at eight o'clock that day. Uh, you'll have breakfast right away. Uh, you can pick up right up front. Um, and then just follow those signs. Uh, most of your testing for regular rooms, uh, standard rooms are going to be on the third floor. Um, remote only people will probably be on the second floor. And then um, the accommodated rooms, so those extended time rooms and, and things like that will be in a different area, probably the first floor. More information about that to come. Um, buses will run twice during that day. Um, so they'll pick you guys up. Um, and then after your testing is over, so probably around 1230 or one o'clock or so, 
Um, there will be one round of buses that will go home a little bit earlier than usual. And then there will be a regular bus that leaves at 310 uh, per normal. Um, and then of course, on those days, you'll have uh, grab and go lunches if you'd like to grab one on your way out the door. Um, if you do have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any concerns about the testing or just uh, want to know or communicate with me anything, please reach out. I'm available via chat. I'm available via email. And you can also stop down by my office um, if you would like to or give me a phone call. So um, hopefully this answers some of your questions. Um, I'm sure I'll communicate more with you as we get closer to that time. But thank you guys again for your time and let me know if you all need anything. Goodbye and have a great day and rest of your capstone slash advisement class or wherever you are. <laughs>